Today's a very special video. I've been getting a ton of requests for an update on Georgina and Spencer, so I want to show you how they're doing as well as introduce you to some new friends. The stork may have landed at Hedge Hill Farm. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. Except for today, because we're going to see those goats. Let's go. This is one of our new additions. Her name is Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. She's four months old, and those concerned bleats are her mother, Salvia. She's like, what are you doing to my daughter? <laughs> These are the sweetest, most lovable and gentle animals you can imagine. They're also really easy to have. All they want is some grass and fresh air. Right, Charlotte? That's right. We're working on building up a small dairy herd, so I'm looking forward to making my own chef. But in the meantime, they're just hanging out and eating a lot of grass and running around. It's really sweet. Aren't you so sweet? Charlotte isn't our resident baby. I want to show you two new additions that just came this week that are in the barn. So let's go. Bye, Charlotte. We'll see you soon. Go back to mommy. So this is Haiku. She just had these two little baby bucks about two weeks ago. And one, they're cute as a button. But two, they have been growing so fast. They're the sweetest little animals in the world. Hi, little baby boy. I'm not gonna say that I play favorites, but this little one with black and brown on him, he is maybe my favorite because uh, he was kind of like the runt. He was really small when he was born and I took extra special care of him and made sure he was getting enough milk from mama. So we haven't named either of these two little boys yet. If you have a suggestion, leave them in the comments below because I don't know, I need help on these. What should your name be? Please tell me. Should we go see some more goats and maybe a couple dogs? Let's go. If you remember our last video where I introduced the goats, these are the OGs, Georgina and Spencer. Do you wanna say hi guys? They grew up, they're all full size now and they're full of grass, aren't you? You've been eating all day. They're still super sweet and Spencer still likes to chew and lick everything. See, look at this. Goats don't have top teeth but they do have really sharp molars. So if you're ever letting one nibble on you, just the tip, don't stick your hand in. Recipe for trouble. So Spencer's what's called a weather. He's been fixed and he's really just a companion for Georgina and the other goats. But we have one intact male and we're thinking about naming him Billy. You can let me know in the comments if you like that name or if you have a better one. And he is maybe one of my favorites. He's so cute. Right now he's hanging out with three of our mini horses. He fully thinks that he is a horse. They're his best friends and he literally would not know the difference between him and a mini horse. So about eight or nine months ago, we adopted these three mini horses and it's actually a mom and her two daughters. And it's pretty sweet. The mom is blind and the daughters like take care of her and help her maneuver uh, and protect her. If you're wondering about the muzzles, before we got them, they were just left to like feed as much as they want and miniature horses actually gain weight at an alarming rate and it's really bad for their hooves and joints. So they've been on a vet prescribed diet of less grass <laughs> and they're doing well. They actually look great right now, but they have a little whiles to go and they love hanging out with Billy. So you might remember Bo, but Bo has a new friend, Charlie. Charlie's actually only seven months old, but he's a giant baby. Charlie, come here. Hi. He's seven months old and he's half Great Pyrenees, half Anatolian. He's here to help keep an eye on Georgina and Spencer with Bo and make sure that no bears or coyotes come close, right? That's right. If you're wondering why we have Nigerian dwarf goats, one, they are so cute, but two, they have the, I won't say the best quality milk, but it's the best. Really high in butter fat, a nice taste, and it's high in protein too. If I'm making my own chev and whatever else, I want to have the best starting material. So for that, we chose Nigerian dwarf goats. Even though they don't produce the most milk, it's really nice quality. In our last kidding, we got two little baby bucks and that is the best number ever because mama has two teats and there's no fighting. There is enough milk for everybody and everything just works out. All of our kids are dam raised and that means that they are getting milk from the mom, they're not being bottle fed. 
So we'll get some milk from them, but most of it's going to little baby goats. And they will drink milk for apparently as long as the mom lets them. Charlotte is getting pretty old right now, but she's still like working herself under there <laughs> and like, I want some more milk now to supplement the grass. It's pretty cute. That just about does it for our farm update. If you like this video, check out my farm playlist with all my hedge hill farm updates for you. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next farm video.